at the uh, corner of Newburgh and Warren. Got to make sure we get that right. Uh, let's take a look though at the current four live radar because we are tracking showers and thunderstorms right now. Some of those have weakened. In fact, you can see that the precipitation is a lot less than what we were looking at earlier, but still getting some rain uh, coming right into Washtenaw County right now around Chelsea and the west end of Ann Arbor. Further to the north, that rain's been a little bit heavier and these things are not moving all that fast. So the northern parts of St. Clair County, you're still getting a good dose of rain, even though a lot of those lightning strikes uh, look like they have dissipated now. You can see what's going on to the south. That is a boatload of rain and even though those thunderstorms are going to slow down a little bit, we're going to get a widespread push of water coming in overnight and that's going to lead to some significant rainfall accumulations outside right now. Though temperatures not too bad with 79 humidity is a little bit more noticeable than it has been in, in uh, the last several days, but we're going to see a lot more of that coming in over the weekend. So here's how tonight's going to play out after midnight. We're going to see this big push of rain coming in out of Indiana and Ohio. Once it gets here, it's going to set up shop as we get through the day on Thursday. And I don't think that we'll see any appreciable breaks until we get closer to about four o'clock in the afternoon. Then everything starts to dry out. And then Thursday night and into Friday, we're looking at some fantastic conditions. We'll see mostly sunny skies on Friday, but the amount of rainfall on Thursday is going to be in the one to two inch range in parts of our south zone. There's also some indication that we may see sort of a second area of heavy rainfall just north of that. So we're going to be monitoring it very closely uh, tonight and into tomorrow. Overnight lows are going to be in the low 60s and we will see the thunderstorms fade. But again, after midnight, that's when we start seeing that widespread rain push in. So plan on a wet commute tomorrow in the morning and possibly in the afternoon. 71 on the high side tomorrow. Friday looks great. The weekend looks a little bit cleaner as far as the forecast goes. I think we'll be mainly dry on Saturday, but with humidity starting to build with the heat on Sunday and thunderstorms come back, unfortunately, those are going to linger into Monday for the Ford fireworks as well. So 